After two early losses to Duke and Florida State last week, it'll be another year where Clemson misses the playoff now for the third straight season. This comes after they made six straight playoffs from 2015 to 2020 and won two national championships. Unfortunately, things seem to be trending in a downward direction. This may be the first time since 2010 where Clemson doesn't have a 10-1 season. With things not at the level Clemson fans believe they should be competing at, they went ahead and hired a new head coach, Tom Frosty. Who knows if he can get this program back on top of college football and win them a national title. Taking a look at the last year for Coach Frosty and what he's getting himself into, the team's good. Good. There's no doubt about that. Like, Cade Klubnick, he's a ball player. He'll be the starting quarterback for, like, next two years. Christopher Vizina, it's Italian. She's going to be really, really good in the future. I'm excited for him. Like, the quarterback position should be great for the rest of the video. I'm not really worried about that. It's more so the front seven I'm kind of worried about. Like, the defensive line's got some good young guys that'll develop in the future. But the guys starting there right now, like, they're pretty high overall, but they're all old. So, I don't think the defensive ends are that great, though. Only got an 83 overall and then 86. But there are some really good freshmen that are going to be good in the future. So, I'm not too worried about that position. But the linebacker room just has no depth to it. Like, Jeremy Jeremiah Trotter Jr. is really good. So is Barrett Carter. Like, they're probably both going to go to the draft. But, like, dude, behind them, there's, like, no one. Kobe McLeod and then D. Creighton. And we don't even have a left outside linebacker. Like, I don't know what Dabo is doing with the linebacker core, but there is just nobody on this roster that plays linebacker. Only four guys. I mean, the roster is definitely a top 10 roster in college football. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But, I mean, Dabo has already got two losses in real life. But we'll see how Coach Frosty does with this squad. I'm excited to see what he can do. 6 and 2 start of the season for Coach Frosty. You know, it's not that great, but it's not that horrible. It's kind of what they are in real life. I'm just curious if, like, the losses are the same. Looky, looky, oh my god. Duke put us in a freaking casket, dude. Okay, we beat Grand Lake State. Flo oh, we beat Florida State. Oh my goodness, dude. We've been on a tear, and then Miami. Holy cow. They buried us on the road. Lost by 20. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Clemson's schedule is kind of challenging in real life. I would not be shocked if they lose another game, because we still gotta play Notre Dame, too, man. This schedule, man, it's just challenging. Sadly, though, on the recruiting side of things, it's been a very, very slow start for Coach Frosty. Only got four commits, and I think it's mostly due to the fact he's only like a level five coach so i didn't want to finesse the system and make him like a level 20 coach i don't think it's really fair to the rebuild so he's a pretty low overall coach right now but i mean i'm pretty happy with the rest of the recruiting board like we should be able to get some of these guys like the first recruiting class is not going to be nearly as good as the classes in the future but it's not anything that bad so i'm not really too upset with it coach frosty is welcoming the fighting leprechauns at home in death valley god this stadium is so beautiful dude i love how sexy it is i don't know if it's the same state uh, it has to be the same stadium too. i'm an idiot okay who cares either way it's a game we gotta win let's go take care of business I like this play right here. There's a lot of things going on. I think this is a spacing concept. Oh, it's going to be effective, isn't it? Yes, sir, let's go. Brinningstool. That's a really cool last name. Good job, Jake. Our offense has just been putrid, dude. We're down one point in the fourth quarter. Of course, our kicker missed the extra point. He missed the freaking field goal in real life against Florida State. So, either way, we need to get seven right here, Cade. We need to make it happen, man. Circle. Okay, Cade. Oh, that's not even the guy. I don't care. It worked. Let's go, Pew Collins. All right. Yes, offense. Thank you. We scored another touchdown. We're 14 points now. Things are looking a lot, lot better. Time is winding down. Sammy Hartman, what you going to do when they come for you, bad boy? I forgot what that song is from. Oh, of course, they're going to score, dude. Hopefully, we covered the spread. That might have been like a bad beat or something. By the way, we got the W. That's all Coach Frosty cares about. Good job, boys. Oh, dude, we lost again, Coach Frosty. This sucks, dude, because we could have, yeah, we would have had the tiebreaker over Florida State because they went 6-2 in the ACC. So that is very, very disappointing. So about Miami's number one in the country. I bet my left testicle that does not happen in real life. That is just so weird. But we beat Georgia Tech and lost uh, North Carolina. And, I mean, we have a tough schedule, dude. Like, they got some challenging games on here. It just would have been nice to finish season winning those last three games. On the recruiting side of things, we picked up some new commits, but I'm not gonna lie. Coach Frosty lost some head-to-head -head battles to UCF, which I'm not really proud to admit. I wish I could show you guys those prospects, but it, like, removes them from the board as soon as they commit to another program. So, yeah, I was pretty upset about that, but the wide receiver class we have coming together is really, really good, which is nice. We got some linebackers, too, as you guys know. We needed those. And then we get this Wyatt Gunter guy. 6'5", 251 athlete, probably an offensive lineman or a defensive lineman, so I'm really excited to see what he plays. Yeah, SMU and the Red Ponies in the Verbo Fiesta Bowl. Pretty sure this is a New Year's Six bowl game, so it is somewhat important, I guess. Let's just go out there and get the dubs. I know last year they, they lost to Tennessee in a bowl game. Yeah, they did. So gotta have these boys ready, Coach Frosty. Yeah, we gotta score first. Show them who's gonna be popping this game. Oh yeah, is that touch on a hunting stall? Bring bring stall. I'm, I'm not very good with days. Bring stall, man. He's a fast for a tight end too. Good job, Jake. That was impressive, man. We're going for it here, dude. We're up seven points. We don't lay down the hammer. Come on, Kate. Touch it here. Slants. Best play in the game. Oh god. Oh god. Might not have been a smart. Kate. 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 Let's go, man. I love the fight. Good job, Kane. This is the domination we were looking for, Coach Frosty. We are just spanking that dude. Up 28 points. Kane's not even in the game anymore. I don't care, though. We're going for it all. We're going for the juggler. Let's go again right here. Kind of curious if this Paul Tyson guy is a dull threat. We'll see right here. It's a keeper. Paul? 
Paul? Oh, he is a dull threat, man. This quarterback room, they got some studs in it. Good job, Coach Frosty. Great bowl game win, man. Tigers loving it. We win 58 to 14. I know SMU is that a juggernaut. I mean, they were in the 80s, so then they decided to start paying people Lamborghinis and Cadillacs and stuff like that. But I mean, they're still a respectable group of five team, but Coach Frosty and the Tigers, man, just took care of business, man. Let's go. Such a big W. I was worried about this Coach Frosty. Barrett Carter's guy says so Jeremiah Trotter, Will Shipley, and Andrew Macaba. I mean, this is just not good, dude. Four of our best players are all leaving us early. At least they're gonna make a ton of money and go take care of their families, so that's nice. Then we have a trades for Noble Johnson. Just dude, not like seeing that ever. Dude, he's 75 overall. Like, he definitely would've played for us. Just very unfortunate. And then Nate Wiggins is coming back for another season, so that's a W in my book. I'll take it. Then we have four guys graduating, going off to the NFL. Ruke or Horo Horo. There's no way I got that right, but that is such a dope name. Xavier Thomas, Jalen Phillips. I mean, these guys were all stars for us. Like, we're gonna miss them, especially Ruke or Horo Horo, and then uh, Tyler Davis, 95 overall. That guy is just so good. Then there's quite a bit of graduates, which is not good to see for Coach Frosty, especially considering our recruiting class is going to be incredibly small this first year. So, yeah, man. Next recruiting class after this one needs to be very, very good because we're going to have a lot of open spots in the roster, that's for sure. It's before signing day, and I'm feeling cautiously optimistic. Like, I think we should be able to get these top two guys here, Travian Callaway and also Cali Fatoni Cochran. That sounds right. Travis Davis, Vivei Kendrick, uh, Ty Logan. Like, I think we can get all these guys. I'm kind of worried about Travis, Vivei, and Ty Logan, like, we'll see. But I really want to get these two guys, though. If we get these two guys, I'd be very, very happy. Uh, Charvis Davis from Hawaii is just, he's going to stay in uh, Hawaii. So, have fun on the beach, but he is going nowhere else. We also lost Ty Logan to North Carolina, which is pretty sad. But we got everybody else that we wanted, so that's a W. So, this is Coach Frosty's first recruiting class, and the quality is there. I, I'm not really worried about the high-end quality. Like, I feel like we got a lot of good four- and five-star talent. It's just, you know, unfortunately, there's not that much of it. You know what I mean? Like, there's just not that many kids in the class. There's only 12 kids commits, dude. Like, that's just not enough. So, next year and the year after that, Coach Frosty, he's gonna have to go to pound 10, man. He's gonna have to start hammering home and hopefully getting, like, 15-plus commits in the next two classes. But Wyatt Gunter looks really good. Like him, offensive or defensive lineman. Mike Grady and Juco. Trayvon Callaway. Like, these two guys on signing day were huge pickups, dude. Also, Chad Cooper and Panee Dawkins. We needed outside linebackers, as you guys know. We still do. So, we're gonna keep him in that position. Especially with those two guys going out of the draft. So, that definitely does not help out that room at all, that's for sure. Yeah, 30th rate class? I thought it'd be higher, man. Well, Coach Frosty, I'll tell you what, the optics are probably not great. I'm sure that the people on the message boards are probably calling for your job after this, but I'm not really too worried. Like, every single guy we had committed is going to be a starter in the future unless they transfer, so I'm happy about that. Just, you know, we needed more humans in the class. It's as simple as that. Year two is a wrap for Coach Frosty and the team. You know, it's looking good once again. It's just, you know, can we take that next step? Because last year, I mean, we lost three games, which is pretty disappointing. This year, though, I want to try and win the ACC. I think we can do it. We definitely have the high-end talent to do it, especially in offense. Like, most of the guys on this first row are offensive players. So the offense should be good. Just kind of worried about the defense. Mr. Klubnik's back at quarterback again. 95 overall. I'm shocked that he went up that high in overall because last year, what was he? Like an 86. So he went up 9 overall, which is just ridiculous. So this guy's obviously a really, really good quarterback. He's been balling out. He's a little dull threat too. I like him a lot. And I also really hope he doesn't leave us after this season, but I'm sure he will. That'll make me very, very sad. Some position groups though that we need to recruit really, really well is running back this cycle. Like Phil Moffa's really good, but besides that, ugh, it, it falls off pretty steep, man. Like it is not that great. So hopefully Coach Frost you can find like a really good running back this year because Phil Moff is going to be gone and then after that it's just it's quite a big drop off. It's kind of the same thing with defensive tackle even though I think we're a little bit better here it's just there's two seniors here so the depth is not the greatest. You got a really good junior though Peyton Page and then Vic Burley's a really good freshman but for the linebacker room I don't know what Dabo was doing dude he had like no linebackers in the roster but now he's a little bit better you know we still need to recruit linebackers really really well those cycles especially some high quality ones if we get like an 80 overall linebacker that would be really really helpful because there's a lot of young guys here but none of them are like that high of an overall if you know what I mean like they're going to be good in a couple years, but they're just not immediately good. If we get like a 90 overall linebacker, that would be really cool. Preseason conference predictions and oh my god, our offense is insane. Like I said, but our defense only an 88. Ugh, yeah. Do not like seeing that, but the offense is really good. So, Cade, you got to carry us this year, man. 2 0 start of the season. They were two in the country, but we're like in fifth place the ACC. I think it's because Wake Forest has already played two ACC games. Looks like Florida State's one and two. That has got to be good news for us, but we've been dominant so far, man. We got a 60 point margin right now, which is really good. Oh, Wow, we crushed Tennessee and then we played Sacred Heart. 
Huh. Well, Tennessee was ranked in the preseason, but now they're 0-4, so that win doesn't look nearly as good. But I wanted to schedule somebody good in the non-conference, and apparently Tennessee was very overrated. For recruiting, though, I told you guys, dude, do not sleep on Coach Frosty. Some of you guys met him with doubters last season. The message boards were probably over Coach Frosty, but dude, this class looks so good so far. It's only like week four, week five, and we already have seven commits, and three of them are 80-plus overall. We have our quarterback of the future if we need him. Ryan Sells, number one quarterback of the country. Kalen Fry, Shaq Murray, Blankenship really good, then Quentin Eats a 92 overall, just a stud. This week, we're taking on North Carolina at home. They beat us last year, but this year, it's in Death Valley, man. It's a night game. It's raining. Gives me big October, like, spooky season Halloween vibes. Hopefully, like, Freddy Krueger and Michael Myers don't show up. But either way, Coach Frosty, we need a dub. We need to get revenge. And for this game against North Carolina, we have, like, a lot of guys visiting, a lot of high overall guys as well, guys that we're trailing for. So, if we can pick up this win, I think this would be a huge momentum booster on the trail. So, guys, please just go out there and dominate. That's all I'm asking for. Yeah. Well, we tied at seven. It's not too bad, but they do have the ball inside the goal line. So you do not like seeing that. We need to try and get a stop here, defense. Let's clamp down. I know you guys are going to get carried by the offense the entire season, but I need you guys to step up right here. Come on, defense. Throw a pick. Harold! Her what? Oh, oh, man. Well, we tied it up, but I got to freaking settle for a field goal right here. I always hate doing this. It's also the rain, too. It's kind of hard to see. I already got four eyes to begin with. My eyesight sucks. Got the Tar Heel dancing back there. I don't know what he's doing. Please go through. Oh, God. We got a really good kicker. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. All right. Lead at halftime. You just got to hold on to it now, guys. Oh, okay. We're up seven points. Pretty intense situation right here. We do have the fans on our side, though. So we just need to get a first start right here. And I think it should be GG's. The clock is our best friend right now. So I'm not really too worried. Just got to get this first down. I mean, truly, all we need to do is hand off to this Phil Moffa guy. This guy's monstrous, dude. He's like 200 pounds of just pure muscle and determination. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's game over, dude. Let's go, Philly. We got three commits, which is pretty underwhelming. I'm not going to but this guy's name is Rochester, man. Dude, these names are so much fun. William Warren and then Gavin Hodge is really good. But this Marcus Kendrick's guy's going to Texas a It freaking sucks. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. Uh, nine and three, six. Uh, I don't know uh, why. I don't know what happened, okay? I'll be honest. I really thought that we'd have, like, one loss, maybe two at the most. But no, we have three. Just not good, man. Like, we started really hot. You're telling me we lost three games in a row? Dude, what happened? Did somebody get hurt or something? Oh, uh, one. Wonderful, dude. Our backup, Christopher Vizina, the Italia, she threw three interceptions against Louisville. And same thing against NC State. So, yeah, Kate Klubnik got hurt. That's meh, Coach Frosty's luck, dude. But the rest of the season, we won the rest of the game. So it looks like he just had like a three week hiatus. That's just so annoying, dude. We were doing so well with him, too. Recruiting just continues to go wonderfully, dude. This is the exact type of class that Coach Frosty needed. We're probably going to sign at least 20 guys. And this is, like I said, it's what I needed. Coach Frosty, man, he heard all the people calling for his job and how poorly he recruited last cycle. And you know what, dude? He just, oh, he went into his bag, man. This class is incredibly talented, dude. So much depth, so much talent. I'm just, I'm really, really happy with it. It. Playing Coach Prime and Travis Hunter, I think Shadur went to the draft or something. I didn't see him on the little thingy, my blobber. So yeah, we're playing them. I don't know what bowl this is, but it's very important, Coach Frosty. We cannot let Coach Prime get any more recruiting buzz. We need to win this game. We need to dominate. Well, I was wrong about that. Shadur definitely came back for another season, but Kate, it doesn't matter, dude. We need to score a touch right here. Come on, Mr. Klubnik. Oh, he's got speed too. This is what I love about the kid. He's got first utility. Fail Muffa. Let's go, man. Great start, guys. Things are going beautifully so far, dude. The defense has shut down Shadur Sanders. I don't know how they've done that because their defense sucks, but it doesn't matter, dude. We're doing great. Let's score again right here. Yeah, my phone just dropped. No excuses. Hustle it. Never quit. Circle. Circle. What the? Uh, uh, how did he just do that? Is How tall is that creature? Oh, my goodness. Kate, that's my fault, dude. I blew the pooch. God dang it, Tanner. I gotta make this right, Kate. This is all on me, man. We're down seven points. Touch right here. We're gonna go for two. We're gonna win the game. I'm calling my shots. I feel confident. Let's make it happen. I feel like it's pretty silly play. It's already Phil Maffa. It's just a big muscle. Just hand it off to the big muscle. It'll get you two yards. Please, Maffa. Come on, big boy. Big boy, he wants some more. Let's go, Philly. All right. Two-point conversion right here, Kate. I don't really know how you feel about this two-point play. I'll be honest. I kind of want to get off the illusion that we're running the ball, but believe me, guys, we are not running the ball. Please, something work. X! Brady still! Let's go, Jakey! All right. Nothing crazy. Do not let Travis Hunter moss us. Let's get the dub. Come on, guys. Nothing crazy. Do not get nuts to the face. Do not get nuts to the face. Can we just... There's no way. That's not first down, right? They don't have time out, do they? Coach Pram? Coach Pram, take the L, oh, man. Frosty picks up the bull gate down. I still don't know what bull it was, but it doesn't matter, man. Momentum is in a positive direction. Cade, do not go to the draft. If you didn't get hurt, we would have won the natty. 
that's just what I'm going to believe. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cade, please come back for another season. I'll do anything for you, please. The tally is just not ready, man. He is not ready. Oh, this is so awesome. Antonio, I, I am going to miss you, dude, but you're the only guy leaving. We have four guys staying. Adam Randall, Toriano, Pride Jr., uh, Cade, Club, Nick. Thank you, buddy, and then Blake Miller. So, I mean, what are those? Four really good players. So I'm really, really happy with that. Sucks for losing Antonio, but he's going to make a lot of money. So good for him. Then for the guys graduating, going after the draft, what is this? Five humans? Yeah, these guys were all starters for us. I'm going to miss Brittany Stoll, man. This guy was really, really good. He's 6'6", too. Tight end. Love those. Marcus Tate was solid. So was Nate Wiggins. Like, these guys were all really, really good players. Like, we're definitely going to miss them. Then for the graduates, oh, you're telling me Philly Moffa is not going to get that? No. He, he's going to go undrafted. He's going to get, like, a million touchdowns to the goal line, dude. Like, no one's stopping that bowling ball. I don't know how he's not getting drafted. That is ridiculous. But the rest of these guys, you know, were not that great. So, is that really too shocking? But Philly Moffa, he's definitely going to he's gonna play in the NFL. There's no doubt about that. Holy Mary, mother of God. Devin Ruffin from Alabama, 85 overall. I know Dabo is not a big transfer portal guy, but this is a new era, man. Coach Frosty is all in. Devin Ruffin, welcome. Welcome with open arms, dude. It sucks he's to sit out a year, but this guy is going to be an absolute monster here. The strategy on Saturday day this year is pretty clear. We run this Zalanti Muhammad the third guy, not only because he's good at football, because that name is so sweet, dude. That sounds like an Egyptian name, like one of those like Egyptian kings that you give the name for, like one of those mummies. His name sounds exactly like it. Then Antoine Clark, this guy is from right here in South Carolina. We need to keep him in state because I think Clemson is in South Carolina. We're putting 8,000 points into him. I really, really want him. And then Alante Hightower. I mean, I'd like to get him, but he's only 70 overall. We already have a good linebacker commit. I can move some safeties to the linebacker in this game, so it's not that big of a deal. He's only 70, so we should be okay. We got the mummy Egyptian keep Zalante Muhammad III, and we also got Antoine Clark from right here, the five-star wide receiver, 85 overall, and Alante, yeah, he's off to watch that. Adios, amigo. So this is Coach Frosty's second recruiting class, and I told you guys there'd be an uptick, dude. We have eight 80-plus overall guys. You know, we got a 92, Quentin Ince. I mean, this class, there's so much depth, dude. 21 commits. Really needed to make up for it after what happened last year. I mean, last year's class, it was not good enough, okay? Quality-wise, it was good, but quantity-wise, just no, no, no. But this class has got quality and quantity, dude. It's so freaking good. Quentin Ince, he's gonna walk on campus and be the best player on the offensive line, potentially. So he's really, really good. It's Wani Clark, big signing day W. Shaq Murray, Blankenship. He's got three names for South Carolina. Really, really good. Gavin Hodge, another offensive lineman. Tyler Turner. Oh, he's a big boy, too. 5'11, 242. Kaylin Fry, Orlando Clayton. I mean, this class, dude, there is just so many chess pieces to put together. Not to mention the best quarterback in the country, Ryan Sells, who we beat out Ohio State for. I mean, everything just went well this cycle, dude. I told you guys, do not sleep on Coach Frosty, dude. He has been in the lab. He's been working demon hours, man. Five five stars, 14 four stars. I mean, this class was just so ridiculously good, dude. Number one class in the country. I'm just so happy. And I have to mention this because this is absolutely ridiculous. Ohio State signed eight five stars, which I have never seen before from a CPU team. Like, I've done nine or ten five stars in a recruiting class before, but for eight, dude, by the CPU in one class, that is ridiculous. Sweet heavens, this Tyler Turner guy, who I thought was for sure an offensive lineman, is a quarterback 5'11", 242. Oh my, this class man. All the genetic anomalies. I mean, goodness gracious. I tell you what, dude. Oh, it's, I'm sorry. I'm speechless. I'm just going to keep repeating the same thing. I am just 80 speed 2, 5'11", 242. Oh my goodness, dude. Who are his parents? Unfortunately, though, I just realized I need to come back down to earth. This guy has to play running back for us because our running back room is gutted, dude. We miss Philly Moffa so badly, dude, but this guy's going to be the next Philly Moffa. 5'11", 242, who will probably start next year unless Keith Adams like takes a massive jump up, but yeah. Yeah, dude. This guy, Tyler Turner, just a genetic freakazoid. There's just no other way to say it, dude. He's probably building a spaceship and just plopped here on Earth. I mean, that's the only way that I can... I don't... He's 5'11", 242. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. Year three of the Coach Frosty era, and I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely the best team we've had so far this video. Yeah, that's not a lie. I don't know why I said I'm not gonna lie, because it's pretty factually correct. Yeah, there's... Yeah, Albert Einstein could prove this bad boy. Same with that one guy, Oppenheimer. Yeah, I watched that movie very, very long. There was a girl... That was, okay, I'm not going to talk, okay? Just know that you if you watch the movie, you know. Cade, you need to try and get a force field around you, dude. I don't know how it works with Yoda and the force and all that stuff. I'm not a Star Wars guy, but we need to figure it out with you, dude. Because you just, you cannot be hurt. You need to be protected at all costs. You're just so important to the team, dude. Whenever you played last year, we were dominant. So please, just try and stay healthy. The defense has really picked it up, though. Especially the front seven. Like, we got some really good young guys like Peter Woods. CJ Parker's really good. Peyton Page, an old guy. And then the linebacker core. It's still a work in progress. Like, these guys are all young. 
young. They're going to be good once they're older, but the real strength of the defense is in the secondary. Toriano Pride Jr. and Jaden Lucas. That is a cool way to spell Jaden and Lucas. I like that a lot. Also, Sherrod Koval Jr. is really good. And same with Wade Wadaz. Like, that's another sweet name, dude. 6'3", 232. I like him a lot. So, oh, God. He's slow as molasses, though, which sucks. But, yeah, the secondary is really, really good. It's just the front seven. It's a little eh. But I think the defense is definitely a lot better than it was last year. There's no doubt about that. So, the team this year, man, there's no excuses. As for the schedule this year, we're playing Texas A&M and the Nat Cavards. I'm really not that worried. Like, we should be able to win that game. I know last year we scheduled Tennessee, and they ended up sucking. So, hopefully, it does not happen again. Because I'd like for that win to actually mean something. North Carolina's been really good. Duke, I don't, yeah, that's right. They beat the crap out of us year one. Georgia Tech. Louisville's ranked. That's cool. So, is NC State. Florida State's not ranked, though, which is odd. Got South Carolina down here as well. I mean, the schedule's ranked in A-. minus. I'm going to guess it's probably going to be an A-. minus. If we can go undefeated with the schedule, I'll be very, very impressed and happy. Ain't no start of the season for Coach Frosty. Just beautiful, dude. The team's playing phenomenal right now. Really good offense. The defense is doing their thing as well, but Syracuse is also balling out, so I guess good for them. We got to play them later in the season, but yeah, I'm really happy with how things are going. Ooh, Texas A&M in overtime. That has been a cool game to watch. Outside of that, uh, no, we had a close game against Georgia Tech. I was hoping the rest of the games would be blowouts. Also a close game against Louisville, but no. I mean, there are some blowouts like Wake Forest, NC State, but huh, man. On the recruiting front, we only have six commits in the class so far early on. I mean, all these guys are good players, which is nice to see. It's just the class is not going to be as good as last year's class. I don't know what we did last year, Coach Frosty. I hope that was not an anomaly because last year's class was absolutely berserk. I think we kind of got lucky that we were not in many recruiting battles because this year we are in a lot more recruiting battles, dude. Like everybody's going after the guys that we're going after. I don't know what it is, but either way, we should still have a really good class. So I'm not too upset with Coach Frosty. He's still doing a good job. This week, though, we're taking on Florida State at Death Valley. This stadium is so cool, dude. I don't know what it is about Clemson. I think it's just their colors. Like I'm just a big orange fan, dude. It's just such a pretty color. But either way, we're playing Florida State. They're a top 25 team, even though they already have three losses, which is kind of confusing. But either way, we just didn't win the game. Come on, Tanner. Use your eyes to your advantage. There we go. See, touchdown. Good start, guys. Already up 7 0. Let's keep it rolling. Good job, Adam. Up 14 0. Things are going well. Oh, dude, there's. They got cool trees back there, too. Man, I, I don't know what it is, dude. I just like the stadium a lot. But either way, I really hope they miss this kick. I don't know where the Tigers at. Always on the sidelines. Maybe that'll be an distraction. Hopefully. We'll see. Let us be up 14 at halftime. Please! No. Yeah, they got a good kicker. Well, so much for that. Just dominant so far, dude. Especially the defense. Only giving up three points. We're up 18. I think if we score a touch right here, it should be GG's duel. We're up 25 points. There's just no chance they're going to come back. X is going to be a touchdown. It's not Brittany stole, but it's going to be a touchdown. I, I just, I'm too smart sometimes, dude. You know, my IQ is only like 75, but dude, when it comes to this stuff, it's like 150. Let's go, man. Good W, guys. Let's go. Finished 11 1. So we lost the game, Coach Frosty. That's definitely disappointing. We went 8 1 in the conference, though. Our points for is pretty good. So is our points against me. Everything was well, it's just, you know, we somehow lost to somebody, which is pretty sad. Who was the culprit? Barely beat Syracuse, and we lost to Boston Coach. Really, of all teams, dude? Oh, man. But we did beat South Carolina, though, to bounce back, so that's nice. Finally, in the ACC title game, we're playing Virginia Tech, who's 7-5, so, like, come on, guys. This should be a cakewalk. This should not be a challenge at all whatsoever. Let's go get a dub and get onto the playoff. Circle? Oh, yep. That's slant, dude. Chico, let's go stand out to. All right, good start, guys. They're trying to tie it up here, guys. Do not let it happen, okay, defense? I need you guys to hanker down. Clutch up. Quack. Tackle. Or admit. I hate myself so much, dude. God dang it, dude. We missed two tackles right there. Ugh. This game has been a lot more challenging than I anticipated, man. We're only at three points. We need to get a first right here, though. Put this game away once and for all. Come on, Cade. We got this, dude. Circle. Gonna be first set, right? Yes, the curl. The curl to cheat code. Speed. How to forget the end zone. Nah, he's not gonna get the end zone. But that's for sure GG style. Let's go, man. Finally got the ACC title. And in Coach Frosty's third year, we finally got the ACC championship. Albeit, I think it should have been more convincing, but we got the dub. That's all that matters, man. Not a surprise at all, dude. Alabama just put Middle Tennessee State in an absolute guillotine. They just got destroyed, man. 42 nothing. So we gotta play Alabama. There's definitely some recent history here, but it's the Coach Frosty era. Things are different. We're gonna go get the dub, take care of business. I got confidence. Think Things are not going too great. We're down four points in the second quarter, and they have the ball inside the 10-yard line. So, yeah, do not like this situation at all for us. And they're going for it here. So, guys, come on. Please get stopped. Milrow, throw an interception. Come on, Jalen. Or just hand it off. Tackle, get him one as well. No. Okay, that's not good. Yee, I don't like this, dude. We're down 11 points. Things are looking pretty dark right now. I'm not going to lie. We really need a touch right here. Klamnik. Circle. Oh, that's a beam. Oh, that was a tight window right between the two safeties. Let's go, man. All right, guys. Defense, let's get a stop. Oh, goodness, guys. What's happening? We're down 11 points still. If they score a touch right here, it's definitely game over, man. Defense, we need you to step up, guys. Make a play. 
Come on, come on, come on, what as? Get out! There was two humans that- It's over, dude. We lost. We got blown out. We got destroyed. God dang it, Coach Frosty. Ugh. Four guys coming back for another season, so really, really happy about that. Uh, you got TJ Parker, Ronan Hannafin. Like him a lot, then the, the Italian is just gonna be the quarterback next year. He really struggled when he was a freshman, but hopefully he's ready to go. And then uh, Wade Wadaz is also coming back. As for the guys graduating and getting drafted, I feel bad that we did not win a national title, but, you know, Alabama, they, they, they tortured us. They beat us by- a lot of points. Blake Miller, we're gonna miss him, especially K2. He was so good, man, but we just could not get over the hump with these guys, unfortunately. And then there's only two guys graduating that are not gonna get drafted, so I mean, the team next year should return a lot of players. Dietrich Pennington, and we're losing Troy Stellato. We're just in so many battles, man. I hate this so much. If we can get these four guys, I'll be happy, but I'm just not confident. I wish I could get, like, all these seven, but we're not gonna be able to get all seven guys, unfortunately. But if we can get these four, I'll be really, really happy. It's just, I'm not that confident, man, but we'll see. Come on! Oh, I mean, we didn't get three guys, so what do we go? Four for seven? So I can I complain about that. I mean, that's not bad at all, so I'm pretty happy. So this is a recruiting class, and it's another just incredibly small class. I mean, there's a ton of talent. There's 12 guys, and last year's class was incredibly deep, so at least we have those two classes to balance each other out, but I would have liked to at least sign 15 guys, but maybe next year we won't be in so many freaking recruiting battles, dude. It's like every guy we went after, there was like five teams on him immediately after. It was just so freaking annoying. Joe Smith-Williams is a stud, though, dude. From right there in Marshall, Texas, he might be able to start year one. I don't know. We'll see, but he's definitely going to get some playing time. Omari Simpson's really good. We still need to hit linebackers. Aeneas Tashi. That sounds like a Native American name, which is so sweet. From Seminole, Oklahoma. Chris Hickman's really good. So is Jaron Presley. We really need running backs, as you guys know. Roderick Walk Walker. Uh, JT Del Hasuaye. I think that's how you say that. Uh, Ethan Williams. I mean, there's just a lot of talent. Just, there's not that many guys. Top 10 class for Coach Frost. Number 8 in the country. I have my conspiracy theories. I think that every coach saw the number one class that he signed last year and was like, you know what? As soon as they offer a prospect, we're going after him. And that's what it felt like, dude. Like, every single recruit was basically a battle. It was tough sled for Coach Frosty, but we still managed to pull together a top 10 class. So, I'm happy with it. Training results have arrived. Coach Frosty and this team is, yeah, so good. Yeah, this team's definitely better than the team last year. I don't think, they, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's that, oh, man. Yeah, this team's really staying good. We could definitely win a national title. I mean, we could have won one last year, but, like, Alabama, they just took us to the woodshed, dude. But I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that this team could win a national title, man. It's just a matter of, you know, not sneaking it up in the playoff. The Italian should be our quarterback this year just don't play like you did two years ago when you were a redshirt freshman that was miserable just don't do that and you'll be fine man you got 80 speed like you're a dull threat quarterback you're really really good just go out there and play to your potential and we will win a lot of games i can promise you that and he's got an insane wide receiver room to throw to dude we got cole turner 95 overall 90 speed and then we get this ronan Hanafin guy also 94 overall 84 speed and then this guy antoine clark that we recruited two years ago like our top three receivers are all caucasian which is pretty odd to say the least but it doesn't matter all our top four or all cock our top five our oh okay not, not not our top six but our top five that's crazy dude i mean they're all good at football i can't complain as for the defense we're gonna get carried by our defensive line it's probably eh, it might be the best position group on the team like overall in total peter woods at left end 6'2, 333 just a large human tj parker really really good pass rusher super happy he came back for another season and then devin ruffer we got this guy yeah this guy was out of the transfer portal he came from alabama i believe 94 overall 78 speed he is just so freaking good like these three guys man are gonna terrorize the quarterback. I'm so excited for it. 92. I'm not gonna lie, Coach Frosty. I was really hoping to see 11 0 with no losses, but you know, dude, just did not happen. 8 1 the conference, so that's good to see that we definitely won the ECC then because I'm, yeah, we had to have. Beat Bowling Green, and then, oh my goodness, dude, Notre Dame just obliterated us by 32. We were at home too. Ooh, yeah, do not like seeing that, but every other game's been a W so far, so, oh, I forgot we lost again to Syracuse. Oh, man. For Coach Frosty's recruiting class this year, it looks really, really good. I don't know if it's as good as class two years ago because that class had a 92 overall but it's got a lot of quality depth to it the lowest overall is a 70 and there's what how many guys we have committed like 15 already and it's not even the end of the season so yeah things are definitely trending up on the track i told you they would dude do not sleep on coach frost he was gonna figure things out this class is really really good i don't know how south carolina's number two in the country believe me i am very confuzzled by that but we got a chance to pull off the upset at home coach frosty we gotta take advantage of it let's pull off the dub things are not going great we're down four points the italian and the offense are really struggling and and I think they're going to make this kick right here to make it a touchdown deficit. I really hope they miss it, but they probably won't. And yeah, that guy, oh my goodness, that guy's got a leg on him. Yeah, we're down seven now. Dude, we're just not playing good right now at all. I just don't understand it, dude. Our offense cannot move the ball against South Carolina at all, man. Like, nothing is going well right now. We need to try and get a stop defense. Throw a pick, man. Throw a pick. Throw a pick. What ass? Get him. What ass? Nope. That's not good, man. If we have any chance of winning this game, which I don't think we do, 
We need to try and convert this fourth down right here. Get a habit right here, Christopher. Okay, that's not open. Can I launch it? Man, no, yeah, this game's over, dude. We just are not good on offense. I don't know what it is, dude. The Italians are struggling. We're now in the conference championship game. We're playing Miami, who's uh, a really stinking good like we are. So this is going to be an absolute war. I think if we lose this game, we're definitely out of the playoff hunt. I haven't really looked, but yeah, this is a must win. We're actually playing decent. We're up 7 nothing in the first quarter. Like, things are going well. We just got to score again right here. Another touchdown would really help us out. X? Sir, up circle. I love that spacing stuff. There's like so many different things to cover. Good job, guys. Play great. Up 15 before half. I mean, things are going so well right now. I don't know why we couldn't play this against South Carolina. Maybe they're just that good. I have no idea. But we're playing great now. It's a keeper. Keeper. I doubt it. It's a goal, man. Uh, they're trying to come back. And so far, they've been a little bit successful. But if we can sub right here, it should be GG's. Come on, defense. Clamp down. It's just inches. Don't let them get it. Come on. Sack. Sack. Defense. Just, ugh. There we go. There we go, nice cup and the first that, that was so sexy, dude. Keith, I love that, dude. Need more of that? Let's go, man. That should be GG's. Another ACC title for Coach Frosty, but honestly, the team's not satisfied. Neither is Coach Frosty. We gotta perform better in the playoff. Last year, that could not happen again. We got absolutely squashed by Alabama. Playing Illinois in the first round, I don't really know how to feel. I feel like we definitely should have the talent advantage, so we just need to go out there and ball out, and then if we do win this game, as you guys can see, we'll play Alabama, so we'll have a chance for revenge there. Things should go decent early on. We're up 7-3, so I can't really be too upset. Yeah, we're doing good. Gotta capitalize. We have good field position. Square. Oh, yeah. Let's open. Please. Tight window. Nice throw. Good job, Christopher. Up 15. Really happy with how we played, but they have the ball at the goal line. So if the defense could come up with a stop right here somehow, that would be lovely. I don't know if it'll run commit or not because they could pass. Oh, right at us. Right at us. And that is a large running back. Yeah, we did not stop him. Back up 15. I'm feeling really good. If we can just score a touch right here, I think it should be GG. So let's just take care of business right here, Christopher. It might be fourth down, but I'm not worried. I get this. X. Okay, maybe I should have been worried. It's in your hands, Christian. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right, that should be GC's. We got to play Alabama, though. Then I just realized I caught Christopher Christian. I'm an idiot, dude. Either way, we won the game. We're on Alabama. We knew who it would be if we won. It's Alabama. We got a chance for revenge last year. They just, they beat us by a lot. So this year, we got to get revenge, guys. Let's go out there and pull it off. So many wrap outs. Just run, Christopher. Chris! Tougher! I underrated his speed, bro. I did not think he'd make it right there, but he did. Maybe way to make a play, dude. I love it. Chris, Jab Italian. Down four points the second quarter before half. We need to get seven right here, dude. I knew this would be a dogfight. Their offense is just so freaking good, man. It's so hard to get a stop. This might be stupid, but Coach Frosty is not a pussycat. His mama didn't raise no B word. Come on! Oh. Yeah, maybe I made the wrong choice right there. Oh, let's go, dude. We have a chance to win the game right here. We're only down six points. So a touch right here wins the game. No doubt about it. We got this, Chris. Come on, buddy. I feel like the read option is a smart play call here, Italian. Come on, offense. It's a keeper. Italian, take me home. Take me home. Let's go. Yeah. Just got to make the extra point now. Let's go, boys. Come on. It's okay that it's iced. Just, it's right at the middle, Tanner. Don't overcomplicate it, buddy. There we go. Ganta. Yes. Okay, boys. We're out of the semis. One game at a time. We're playing great right now. That's the football I need to see for the rest of this playoff. Playing Notre Dame. Didn't we play them in the non-conference? Was it this year or last year? And we got absolutely smoked. So we got a chance for revenge. And this might be the revenge tour, dude. We beat Alabama. We got a chance to beat the Leprechauns. Let's go take care of business. Down seven early. We're going to sell for a field goal right here, which I am not going to lie. I do not like saying or seeing at all, I should say. It's just not a good start for us, but there's a lot of game left. We got this. This is much we're like it dude we got a three-point lead and we're about to score a touch right here things are going good got this little motion thingy me blobber just hand it off to keith get in there buddy keith yeah, there we go that was nice and easy good job guys well they got the lead now which i did not anticipate but we're only down three points and we already have the ball in field goal range so we're pretty set but i'd like to get a touch right here instead of uh just settling for a field goal slants slants slant circle please somebody get open circle circle let's go yes good job cole turner nothing wild here please four seconds three two one zero Please, for tackle. Yes, yes. Go down. Go down. Let's go. Okay. On to the natty, Coach Frosty, man. Let's go, dude. Big W. I really thought that we might have lost this game, but we pulled out in the end. I wanted to play the game, Cox. I want to try and get revenge for what happened in the regular season. But either way, I'm playing Ohio State. Let's go beat the Buckeyes, dude. I absolutely hate these guys. Okay. I don't like how this has started, dude. We're down 14 points. The Italians just throwing an interception. We gave up, like, a kick return touchdown. Like, nothing is going well right now. We need to get a touch right here. We need to make this game closer. Can I throw a circle? Is that going to be a touch? Oh, it is. Let's go. Get Please. Thank you. I thought we were about to get cheated. Good job, Coach Tana. Let's go. Okay, guys. We need to bounce back. We need to come back and try and win this game. Still has to go. Great. We're dead 14 points. It's pretty clear. We desperately need a touch right here. Please, Christopher. Make it happen, dude. Doesn't even matter that Chris has back spasms. We're going to score right here. I told you. Let's go, boys. Only down seven. Defense. Hanker down. Offense. Get seven. Go for two. Let's win the game. Manifestation, boys. All we need to do is just get a touch right here. Chris. 
Go for two and get the dub. We got this. Love the play card here. The good old faithful read option. I know the Italian is not the fastest man in the world, but he can do the jab. Come on, Italian. Cut it in. Let's go! Okay, go for two right here, boys. Another good old faithful Italian man. Slants right here. Christopher, you know this play at the back of your hand. Just make the right read. Come on, Chris. 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 Let's go! Yeah! Okay, guys. Nothing crazy. Do not get moss. Let's go. No giraffes. Get all the giraffes on the field. Interception. I don't know why they're throwing a screen. That was such a stupid play call. That was second in Uganda. That should make it a lot easier for us now. There's no way they just ran the ball. Oh my. Wow. Yeah. Ryan Day, I don't know what you're doing there, man, but I don't care. Let's go. National chase, man. Let's go, Coach Frosty. And finally, Coach Frosty, we get to hoist up the national title. It was very challenging. We had to beat a lot of very good teams. This was not an easy road by any means. And this team lost three games this year, but I guess that's just the age of the new playoff because Ohio State lost a couple games too. So it is what it is. All that matters is that we get the national championship, baby. Let's go. Coach Frosty, early on, people might have doubted you, dude. I mean, we did win 10 wins every single season. 10 wins are more so that was really good especially that one season where Cade got hurt like that was really really annoying but outside that we started to climb up 12 and 2 and then 14 and 3 capping it off with a national title for coach frosty could tanner win a national title with a team of only walk-ons if you want to find out click the video on the screen i think you'll love it